India this Tuesday, which will begin the world's largest lockdown. That's 1.3 billion people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi made the announcement in a televised address while pledging two billion US dollars to bolster the country's failed health system. So far, health officials have reported 469 active cases of COVID-19 and 10 deaths. Let's now cross to our correspondent, Mandakini Gallet. She's standing by in New Delhi. Mandakini, thanks so much for being with us. What's uh, the latest that you're hearing uh, about India amidst this crisis? An extremely strong speech there, Sanam, the Indian Prime Minister telling 1.3 billion people that there's a total ban on coming out of your homes starting midnight today. Now, he said that every district, every lane, every village will be under lockdown. And if you can't handle these 21 days, then this country will go back 21 years. Now, he said very clearly that India does not have the resources that many of the nations that are facing uh, an outbreak have. And, of course, he didn't go into the numbers, but we've been hearing them uh, recently. For example, India has only one government doctor for every 11,000 people, only one isolation bed for every 84,000 people. The situation is bleak, and you have a prime minister taking what many health experts here believe is the only step which is to ask people not to step out at all. Of course, uh, this uh, started with a one-day curfew on Sunday uh, when the, the Prime Minister requested all Indians to stay at home. Nobody quite knew what... mentioned India doesn't have the resources to tackle this pandemic, and you've been speaking to people. There's already a real sense of panic in the country, isn't there? Absolutely. Um, villages but they can't find that there are no buses, the borders are sealed, there are no trains, and even if they could afford it, there are no flights. So there's just a lot of people and the prime who are stuck in cities with nowhere to go, and the prime minister just told them to stay where you are. Now, the problem is that for a lot of these people, they don't have anywhere to stay where they are. They don't have homes. So uh, there'll be a lot of people sleeping out on the streets and uh, the government is building makeshift shelters for the homeless. Uh, we met a few homeless families on Sunday. They did not even have, for example, soap. The government, of course, was going around trying to distribute soap, teaching people how to wash their hands. You have to understand that the prime minister in his speech today and the government in, in their efforts are speaking to a lot of people who are uneducated, who are who, who don't have access to anything beyond the daily wage that they get. So even things like you need to wash your hands is not something that's really well understood or well known. So a lot of panic. Uh, it's hard to deny that the supply uh, chain is going to be uh, broken. It's going to take a while for India to figure out how to get food and other essentials to people. And of course, the prime minister was quite vague in his speech about this. He said the government is going to try to help the poor, but did not outline a plan. So the next few days are going to be a real test. In fact, the next few weeks. Amanda Kini Gallet there with that worrying update from India, where one fifth of the world's population has now been placed under lockdown.